G'day guys, Orlando here from Cool Runnings Engineering. Um, we're down with the guys from B2R Motorsport today and we're putting in the Aquamis HFS4 system into one of their R32 GTRs. So we just wanted to do a quick run through of how to install the flow sensor, uh, sorry, the level sensor and also the, uh, the pickup into the 10 litre Aquamis tank. So um, we've got the parts here and we're just going to um, quickly run through how to do it. So here we have the um, the filter basket and also the fitting uh, with the seal incorporated and then we also have the compression fitting that the the six mil line will attach to. So first off, um, you screw the filter basket into the back of this and this just goes in hand tight. So as soon as it's hand tight, just another little nip, and that's good enough for that. Um, it's O-ring, so it won't go anywhere, and it won't leak. And so, once you've done that, we insert this section into the bottom hole. Uh, once we've got the, uh, the pickup into the hole, um, we need to use an Allen key, and I'll just get the size right. The six mil Allen key goes into this hole, and what that does is it holds it in place while you do up on the nut. What will happen when you do up on the uh, securing nut is, as you can see here, it will slowly pull up and oh, it will slowly pull up and expand this o ring inside the tank, and that's what creates the seal. We don't have a spanner big enough at the moment, so we're just using the dodgy way. It's the big shifter. Now the trick is to pull it up tight without over tightening it because we don't want to over tighten it and break that seal. Okay, so just enough so that it won't turn freely and that'll be good. So now we do the flow sensor, or the level sensor, sorry. On the actual level sensor, there is um, a little arrow and it points to uh, the orientation of the level sensor. The arrow has to be pointing up to the top. And so make sure when you're holding it, you can flip the, um, the little indicator upwards and you'll know that that's uh, the correct orientation. This time, use another shifter on the flat section to hold that into place while we're doing up on the nut. Again, we don't want to over, over tighten it at this stage. Um, because we don't want to damage that area. So just hang tight. Just enough so we can't turn it. We've got a tiny bit more. And uh, there we have it. Um, we've got the pickup. Now we can attach the compression fitting. This is just a 10 mil span onto that. Drop 
fun. We'll get this in the car now and uh, keep going with the rest of the install. Thanks for watching.